flags over Georgia. First, we are a very reliable roller coaster business. We will make sure that the design is top of the line, make the roller coaster very unique, and build a roller coaster in a timely fashion. I am Lindsay Gopatra, the head of the project, American Eagle. I have an MBA from Princeton University. <laughs> I'm Trey Duan, the main salesman here at SPLJ Thrills. I have a PhD in marketing from the University of Pennsylvania. Hello, my name is John Ramey. I'm the team engineer. I graduated from Baylor University. And I'm Patrick Chen, the math expert here at SPLJ Thrills. And I have a PhD in structural engineering from MIT. <laughs> Introducing the American Eagle, the newest gyroscope coaster, SPLJ Thrills. So what is the Royal Coaster all about? This high-speed coaster features three loops, an exhilarating tunnel, a large hill, a very thrilling turn. And the best part? The end is backwards. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, the end is actually backwards. Okay. There's a hole near the end, and the rider will experience an uh, awkward feeling of going backwards down a hole and into a turn for the end. Now, this is a gyroscopic coaster, so the rider remains upright during, for the entire duration of the ride. This new technology has enabled SPLJ Thrills to create the coaster of the future. But enough advertising. Let's get, let's get down to the science. Okay. This is a basic drawing of the American Eagle, and it shows the energy of the marble, which we use as a test car, as it travels down the coaster. Now, this all happens very quickly, but these are the types of energy that the marble possesses at two points on the track. As you can see, the maximum GPE, or gravitational potential energy, is located at the highest point of our coaster. This is what makes the coaster have such high speed. The minimum, the maximum KE, or kinetic energy is located at the bottom of the slope. This is where the coaster is moving at the fastest point. The minimum kinetic energy, which is up top with the maximum G, is at the top because the car is not moving at this point in time. The minimum of GPP is at the bottom because this is where the coaster is closest to the ground. The spot where it says maximum GPE or gravitational kinetic energy, our group calculated that it had about 0.13 joules of energy, which isn't much, but this can be explained. The formula for GPE is mass times gravity times height. The marble we use had a small mass, and the roller coaster model that we use had a small height compared to the real thing. And if the marble's mass were increased and the true like size of the roller coaster were used, then uh, the GPE would be significantly <coughs> increased. This, uh, therefore, the GPE of the real coaster will be much larger than just 0.1 visuals. Furthermore, this idea is also applied to the calculation of KE, or kinetic energy. The average KE was 0.0043 joules of energy. This number will be significantly larger than on a full cycle. But we know what you're wondering. How fast does it go? After all, speed is a major selling point in roller coasters. Since this is a moderately straightforward coaster, it goes surprisingly fast for a small model like this. We also spray painted the track, reducing friction, which increases the speed. We took three time trials on this track, which is about 6.5 meters long. To get the smallest margin of error, we had two people operating timers and average two times to see how accurate it is. And the best time was 3.44 seconds. That The other times we recorded showed that it was fairly consistent. Those times were 3.52 seconds and 3.63 seconds. If you do the calculations, the average speed over all of the trials is over 1.8 meters per second, which is really fast. Now, if there's one thing that science hates, it's people who confuse speed and acceleration. Speed is how fast something goes, but acceleration happens when an object slows down, speeds up, or changes direction. As stated previously, acceleration is a change in direction or change in velocity. So here are a few key points or points of interest on our diagram. As you can see near the top of the hill, a while it's coming down, it is positive acceleration because the velocity is increasing. During the loop, it loses speed and then gains it again. So that is also acceleration. In the second loop, the same thing happens. And as it goes up the hill, it loses speed, causing a negative acceleration. And it comes down again for positive, and then for the backwards part, it loses acceleration, it's negative acceleration at the top.
comes down and then it accelerates again and turns at the end. Or perhaps these points could be called points of acceleration. Uh, <laughs> now let's take a look at some of the videos that our professional team took of the American Eagle in action. Roll footage. Now most of the, of the videos are in slow motion. This isn't the actual speed of the coaster. As you can see, it's spray painted quite nicely. And uh, here's our logo that we have over the hill and tunnel. This is the roller coaster in action. As you can see, the marble went down here through the double corkscrew up the hill, and then it went backwards through the turn and finished at the end. This is the very beginning as it goes straight down, increasing its speed, goes down and into the loop. It continues after the loop. This is a closer shot of the loop. And it continues after the loop into the double corkscrew. Then it comes out the hill and the tunnel and ends up going backwards through the end.